Hello and welcome to my F122 driver groom and here today for part 45 for the Monaco Grand Prix. Last time out we were in Spain where we had to do a bit of a comeback drive. But today in Monaco it's not really possible. So here is the grid for the Monaco Grand Prix. So it is Brown on pole and then from Max Verstappen in P2. Two years in a row Brown has been on pole. Then it is Leclerc and Perez, George and Sainz. And then Gasly and Magnussen. Lando Norris 9th and Ocon rounded out the top 10. Then it's Piastri and Dan Tickton. And then Alonso and Sonoda. And then Schumacher and Joe Albon and Stroll. And on the back row of the grid is Schwarzman and Nicholas Latifi. So coming into Monaco then. And it is a one stop strategy just like it was last time in Spain. Starting on the mediums going onto the hard tyres. We're on pole then. We're on pole then last year. We didn't get the best of starts. Can we do it this year though? And it's lights out and away we go. And we've got a bad start again. Max Verstappen is overtaking us into turn one. But we need to defend now. Down the inside we go into turn one. We keep the lead. <laughs> Unlike last season with Lando. This is George side by side with Perez. Trying to keep around the outside going with the casino. But Perez has stayed ahead of George that we are in the lead then from Verstappen from Leclerc we've managed to convert pole so far in this race than like a year ago as everyone floats through what is the greatest camera angle on the entire Formula 1 calendar the Monaco hairpin we skip pull around to lap 8 though and we have built a small gap over, over Max not big but big enough is now into the final two corners and we had a huge luck up there nearly putting it into the ball into the wall and now Max Verstappen that gap that we had that nice little cushion has gone as Max tries to look around our outside but around these twisty streets we can make this Mercedes very very big into the hairpin and we've gone we're climbing over the curb there these tyres have starting to cook now and now we've had a massive oversteer moment and Max is at the inside of us and Max has got passes there, we're side by side we may lose the lead we hold it though we're on the racing line, we outbreak Max but now can Max get up our outside going through the back row <laughs> Dash has given us a bit of a sweat on there but we managed to keep the position and now coming into the pits to make a one and only stop of the day and Red Bull is in a wonder stop and Max Verstappen is beating us out and that's not good we're going to have to get him back as we come out of the pits and we need to get this job done now quickly it's just like it was 12 months ago when Alonso overtook us during the stops that day though we had a nice little glitch that got us back past it's not going to be easy overtaking Max Verstappen in Monaco but he's gone wide and we've snuck up the inside round the outside through the casino who gets the exit it looks like we have and we are but we've locked up again on cold tyres for Max bowed down our inside is he brave enough to go round the outside of the hairpin and no he's not and we keep the lead just of the Monaco Grand Prix but this is Perez and George coming out and now we go right around the outside and Max has lost out to Perez and he's lost out to George and that overtake there coming out of the pits has turned out to be the most crucial move in this race if we were still behind Max we were P5 right now and we managed to get away from Perez though as we go all around to lap 34 we were just cruising after this so this very much could have been a totally different race if we haven't if we hadn't of got past Max Verstappen but we did get past Max Verstappen and where we failed last year we've converted it this year with one in Monaco that everybody wants to win and they've only gone and done it 
What a fantastic result here at Monaco. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations a real team victory today everyone played their part congratulations then to Mercedes your race winners today Just like Alex Jane said, it's the one they all wanted to win, and we have won it. Not the most interesting Monaco Grand Prix, it never really is, but there was some key moments in there. The start for one of them, the mistake as well, and coming out of the pit stop, we all managed to keep our Mercedes in front, and that ultimately has won us at Grand Prix, especially the overtake on Max coming out of the pits, because Paris would have been leading that race otherwise. That result then puts us within a touching distance of Max Verstappen of just eight points behind him now single race win if he finishes second George goes up to P5 then Piastri and Ocon after their very good weekend in Spain haven't been able to do the same here in Monaco in terms of constructors though the gap is now 10 points we have cut it down by five points this weekend and hopefully we can just continue to do that and maybe just maybe by the time we get to Abu Dhabi could we be in top of both championships there's still a long way to go still 13 races to go but I hope you have enjoyed this video we go to another street track next where we go around the twisty streets of Baku hope you enjoyed this race in Monaco and I'll see you for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix hope you enjoyed goodbye